All eyes will be on the skies today here at Penn State Wilkesboro. The Nittany Lion here with me at the Friedman Observatory at Penn State Wilkesboro campus. This telescope good for viewing, but not today. I have Jennifer Hennigas with us, the communications director here at Penn State Wilkesboro. We have a lot of activities going on. We have a lot of activities and a lot of people coming from the community. We're expecting around 2000 and we have activities for all ages. We have a book we produce. We'll have story time. We have classes for everybody who comes while supplies last. We have arts and crafts for all ages, and then we have the perfect space to actually view the eclipse from outdoors. Awesome. Just tell me how excited you are to be able to get this up and running, be able to share this with the community of all ages. I, that's the idea. Um, we're an institution of higher learning, and so our goal is to bring discovery and exploration to as many people as we can. So to have the community come out in the numbers that we're expecting is a, is a, real, it's a real joy. And a special way we did that was through a book as well. I'm going to bring in Haley. Tell me a little bit. It's called The Sky is a Limit, and it's really written on paper, getting that story out there about this solar eclipse. Yeah, so um, not only is it inspiring people of all backgrounds to pursue their dreams, but it also gives insight of what to expect from the eclipse and kind of explaining it to younger audiences so they have an idea of what to <laughs> expect. And you personally illustrated this, correct? Yes, I did. <laughs> How excited is it to see it on paper? It's surreal. It really is. Um, just another example of what you could achieve when you put your mind to it. And the Nittany Lion is in the book, and he's also here with us as well. Of course, we have our solar shades on. Make sure they're good for viewing. And of course, lots happening this afternoon here on Penn State Wilkes-Barre's campus. Back to you.